as you can see I braided my hair I have like about 15 so what I did is I started braiding it tight at the beginning then I loosened up my braid then I turned it into twist and this is so that it's like basically thick up until the very end so I'm going to start uh, locking the hair like you know full locking or jumbo locking or whatever I want to call it <sighs> okay guys we are almost done with the jumbo locks so i'm just going to show you guys how i'm going to do this front one so the first thing i'm using this kinky hair i have i've used it before i think it's just normal kinky hair this will be my braiding hair i'm going to use two of this so after i start braiding i'll feed another of this into my hair then i've torn the pocket but this is it it's 20 inches darling natural twist hair so this is what it looks like when you bring it out of the pack so you just remove this this little hair pocket. then we use scissors to carefully cut out the rubber band some of them are easy to lose and so you can just use your hand and take it off so you guys can either use a crochet pin or a bobbin pin and i know a lot of people won't have crochet pins in their home because it's probably not a salon my mom helped me buy crochet pins like 500 naira or so but if you want if you don't get the chance you can use a bobbin pin so i'm going to show you guys how to use that i'll show you guys how to use a bobbin pin with this hair then how to use a crochet pin with this hair but it's basically kind of going to be the same thing for using the bobbin pin normally it's going to be closed like this so you want to like open it up a bit especially here because this particular end is where you're going to pass the hair through and you want it to be easy for you to do that so, so you pass that through your hair sometimes when i'm doing this i kind of see how i put my finger through just to make it easy and so that either the crochet pin or the bobbin pin doesn't like start getting stuck i'm going to twist this and pass it through make sure you, ha you still have the end of the bobby pin here and you have the curved part here i'm only going to pass one half of that through so now i have this everything is black so it's hard to see but yeah so that's done then i drag the bobby pin through my hair so now that has been passed through, I'm just going to drag this end. I've removed my bobbin pin if you didn't see me. So now you have, now what I do is I start braiding it. But when I braid from here to here, I make the braid kind of tight because it's already big enough. Then when I pass, when I'm done with this length of my hair, I start making it loose so that it's at least thick all through the same way here is like thick all through. So, so I braid it tightly as you can see it's going to be as thick as the others so now that this is done I start separating the hair just to make it a little bit fluffy so that when I'm braiding it it's still kind of thick so when it's time to wrap it won't look thick then slim then all that so since I've separated this I'm still going to you can twist it and make it loose you can separate it and do a braid for some of them i twisted it at the end for some of them so now i'm almost done i want it to be super long like let me show you guys how long this see where it's reaching me okay so like my waist and right now this is here so i'm going to add another hair and while fitting in to it i'm still going to make sure the braiding or the twisting is loose see how long that is i made it when i braided it i made it longer than this pattern i'll show you guys i'll show you guys why i made it that way i have my 
I see a wrapping here. Yeah, this is my wrapping here. I'm going to show you guys how to pass it through with the bobbin pin again. Oh my days, what's all this? So the same way you pass your hair, your finger through to kind of make. Oh, sorry, you pass your finger through to kind of make like a hole with no obstruction. You don't want your hair getting snagged in. Pass the bobbin pin through. So you have the loop side here, and you still have the handle here. This is what the wrapping here looks like. But by the time I stretch it out and start wrapping it, it will be it will go a long way. So you guys will see that. I'll pass the middle through. Then it and grab only one side so now that is done i pull the bobbin pin through so now i pass the fitting hair through you guys see how short it is but when you stretch it it's really really curly so the real length doesn't show it's this long okay this long so what i do is to attain maximum length i do this keep it together I do this so I have this here and I have this little one here. I keep I hold them like this then I'll go ahead and when I start wrapping around I wrap around the beginning like two or three times and I feel like that's secure I start going down and when I go down I don't like go down like I go down like Slowly, so. so you can see how thick it is right now I'm making it like kind of tight because I know that this part is already thick and as I go down since this place is fluffy and not so thick when I'm looping around I don't tighten it as much so. when I spread the hair out like this I don't make it one like this like I spread it out like this and wrap so you can see now the hair is finishing so I'm just going to keep on wrapping it around till it's done and when it's done I'll just tighten it here. No burning. I'm going to reuse this hair, so I'm not going to burn it. See this little part here? I just keep on twisting it around. It's kinky hair, so it's grab one to itself. So that's it. All that's left is the this remaining end. I'll grab another part of this. But if you want to save it and you feel like you don't exactly need to use a hole, you can divide it into two. But I want it to be thick all through. Like if you don't mind it getting slim as it goes down, no problem. But I want mine to be thick all through. So you can see it doesn't even get slim at the end. And I didn't burn, so I'll show you guys how how I wrap at the end. Let me separate it carefully. Don't want to lose all this hair. Stretch out the ends because the ends get tangled too. So it's just like natural hair. So stretch it out a little. Use your scissors to cut out the rubber band carefully so you don't cut it into two. Don't cut it into two. Just cut out the rubber band. So when I start, I kind of do the same thing I did in the beginning, but look, I have this little hair here. I put it onto where the hair kind of ended, but not where it ended, ended, just before it ended. I wrap this around and then I just start twisting. hope that was seen. If you didn't see it, you'll see me do it with this one. So then I just continue wrapping around. Gosh, I need to be closer. Why am I doing this video all the way from back here? I keep on twisting and wrapping all the way. I'm still holding this part in place. That little part I kept in there. I'm still holding it in place. So now, you can see I've wrapped up to almost here. And you can't avoid it, it gets thinner. You 
can't avoid it so what i did to make sure that it's consistently thick all through since i'm at this level now you see this remaining hair i take it like this and i start wrapping it around the hair i wrap it back up no burning nothing i just keep on twisting it see i'm dragging it to tighten it and that's it so you see this remaining wrapping here i start working my way up while dragging it to attain its maximum length and just keep on dragging it up this method will just make unwrapping the hair easy because at least if i see this part I know that's where the hair stops. So I'm just going to keep on rolling it, rolling it, rolling it. And I'm done. So when you're done, just do something like this to smooth out any stray hair. I don't really have problem with the stray hair because it kind of makes it look a little more natural. This time I'm going to use crochet pin. For all those who don't know how to use crochet pin, I'm here for you. So I'm just going to get another hair like this. This hair reaches me on my waist. So I'm going to have two of that hair. Oops. Like I said, this is my old kinky hair. So I'm going to be using two of it of the same length. Oh, I'm glad you come closer to your viewers. What is it? Why are you running? So this is the crochet pin. Like I did before, make it whole. So see the end of the hair. Twist this. hooked in close easy way easier than the bobbin pin the bobbin pin was disgusting make sure you do that so you know it's not getting stuck into any of your own hair because hmm, it gets tangled with your own hair when it's time to lose in it oh I like you Whew, okay so now I'm just going to do the same thing braid it tightly at the top because you still have your own hair that's making it so you see I just use my finger, I start fluffing it up, maybe even divide it into two. I divide one into two, the other one I just make it fluffy. After doing that, since I'm at the end of my hair, my own natural hair, I start braiding, but I braid loosely. Make sure I braid loosely is not as tight so you can attain that thick consistency consistency throughout your whole hair time for the wrapping careful so this pin doesn't snug on your real hair that's cotton then you have it through the fish hook you close you pass through there you go hmm. so now remember what I said you leave these small parts here for grass when you're twisting at the beginning you twist that particular part you twist in place for like Three or four loops. Please know that while I still have this little hair that I grabbed, so I'm still holding my using my finger to hold it in place. So now I've passed my hair length. I'm going to start wrapping very loosely. And now that is getting done, I twist in place. I just keep on twisting in place and since it's kinky hair to grab onto itself so just be like a little tight wrap it around if you grab onto yourself no need for it I 
and we're done. <laughs> oh my days, I'm so tired. Do you know my friends just say I look like Rihanna? Thumbnail, I'm done.